Okay, so let's look at question number four here. This is a, also here in lesson two. This is the last problem. Okay, and what we have here is we've got a, we have a word problem and we're asked to, we're gonna step through the problem um, piece, point by point so that we can um, figure out how, how we work through this. So the first thing we have is um, we're selling, it looks like pictures, and they offer a small picture for $5 and a large picture for 12. And she at least 25 more small pictures than large pictures. Okay, so first thing we need to do is define the variables. So we can say x is equal to um, just the number of small pictures. Okay, we can just pick a variable and assign it to that. And then the other term we're talking about is y, which is the number of large pictures. All right, so those are the two things here because we have a small picture and we have a large picture. So we need to look at the number of them. Um, we're given a value, which we can use later if we have to use some sort of cost equation um, or, or something to graph, but right now we, can, we just want to be able to count them. Okay, and the restrictions that we would say for this would that they all have to be from the set of whole numbers. Okay, zero, one, two, three, and so on. We can't have negative numbers um, because we don't want to have negative amounts of anything. That wouldn't make much sense. And then we need to write a system of linear equations to represent the situation. So we're given the value and we're told how much they're expected to make. And then we're also, it says here that Layla expects to sell at least 25 more small pictures than large pictures. Okay, so we know the small pictures are x. So one of our equations is going to be x is greater than or equal to um, y plus 25. Okay, because what we're saying is that the small pictures is we're going to sell 25 more of them. So the x is the bigger number. Okay, so if we'd have to, if it was going to be equal to the number of large pictures, we'd have to add 25 to that. But it also says we have, we're going to sell at least 25 more small pictures. So that means we could be bigger, 25 or bigger. So it's going to be X is greater than or equal to Y plus 25. And then our second equation is our cost equation. Okay, we know that for every small picture, we charge $5. So the value of that is 5X. The uh, large picture we saw for $12, so our value is 12y. And we're, we're going to make less than 500, which means we could make less than or equal to $500. Okay, we don't expect to grow, make more than that. So at this point, these are our two equations that we would need to graph. Okay, and that will tell us um, the number of small pictures versus the number of, of large pictures. Okay, so we could go to our, um, grid here and we can just look at how we're going to plot that. So the first one, if we were going to use that first equation here, um, x is greater than or equal to y plus 25. All right. Again, I would put this in point slope form. So I would turn this equation around a little bit. y plus 25 is less than or equal to x. Um, subtract 25, x plus 25, whoops, x minus 25 and that will give us our slope form here. So slope is 1, 1 over 1, okay, and our b intercept is negative 25. So we would have to plot a graph and figure out where um, our intercept of negative 25 would be and then um, plot our value going up. Now we, remember we don't really want a negative value for that but this is just a property of the line. Okay, and then if we look at our other equation, we would have 5x plus 12y is less than or equal to 500. So we can move the x over to the other side. So it would be negative 5x plus 500. And then we can divide by 12. So it will be y is less than or equal to 5 over 12x plus 500 over 12. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult to plot um, because the numbers are bigger. Um, this is a bit of an awkward slope to work with, but the slope would be 5 over 12. So it'd be rise for 5 and run of 12. And then 500 divided by 12 um, is its own value. 
and it's going to be something a little bit um, difficult to, to put together. So, oops, actually it's going to be negative 5 over 12, sorry. So we're going to have a negative slope, okay, and then a, and then a uh, b-intercept. So what I would do in a question like this is let's use a graphing tool like Desmos. Okay, so I'd flip over to something like this, and then we can just plug the exact equations in and then see how the math lines up to that. So I'm going to switch over to my graphing tool here. Let it load up. Okay, and then our first equation, I'm just going to put in what we originally derived, which is x is greater than or equal to y plus 25. Okay, and then we're going to plot our second equation, which is 5x plus 12y is less than or equal to 500. All right, I'm going to hide the equations, and I'm going to shrink it down. Okay, and then what we want to see is where does this graph overlap? So we have here our points. Okay, so we can make a note of these. One of our first points right here is 25 and 0. All right, and then uh, the other points where it overlaps is oh, about 47 and 22. Okay, and then it overlaps here at 100 comma zero. So that's going to be our region. Now we don't, we don't need to worry about anything below the x-axis because we don't want negative values. So what, all we really want to see is where does, where does this, um, these two equations overlap and then this gives us the, the range of solutions here. So then question E, um, in the, it says here, use your graph to determine if Layla could have sold 50 small and 20 large pictures. So we said X is the small pictures, so that's the horizontal axis, and the large pictures is the Y axis. So could we have sold 50 small ones or 20 large ones? So that's a point of 50 and 20. Okay, and that point is actually, it's just a little bit hard to see, but here's, there's, there's 47, so 50 is just a little bit over and 20 is just inside the boundary of that point. Okay, so if you look at on the graph, it's 50 and 20, it just comes inside the boundary. So the answer to that question here would be, could we plot 50, 20, um, is it inside the shaded um, boundary? Okay, and the answer is yes, it is. So therefore, three dots, um, this could um, have happened. Okay, we could have sold 50 of the small ones and 20 of the large ones because that is a combination um, that meets the restriction of the, uh, of the criteria in the problem. Okay, so that's a, a way that I would attempt to solve this question. Um, I think graphing this one is kind of difficult manually. Um, you could do it, but you would have to set up your, uh, your axes such that you have multiples of at least, looks like 25 or 10 here so that you can have some reasonable way to approximate it. Um, but it is easier if you can do it with a computer tool and then let the math um, talk to you a little bit about what the math is telling you and then when you can answer some questions against that. Okay, so that's how I would go through that question.